Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Slaying Dragons. I have with me today Doug Raybol from Bold Ray Consulting. I like it, Doug. I like hey, it. Hey, Michael. Thanks for joining me. It's always great Happy to get together. Happy to be on. So, yeah, what, one of the things that um, uh, I've been talking with a lot of folks about is our Service Management World Conference coming up here in a few weeks down in sunny Orlando, Florida. Uh, and talking about what are the things that we're going to talk to people about down there. Um, you and I have chit chat a little bit, and of course, you know, the agenda, the, the agenda's already uh, been out there for a little while, but you have kind of an interesting topic that you want to talk about. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so, uh, Michael, I'll, I'll be talking this year on experience level agreements, XLAs, which which is sort of a newcomer to to the scene, if you will, in, in IT service management and, and even sort of shades off into that customer experience field. Um, interestingly, my career has sort of transitioned towards CX over the last several years um, from, you know, more more typical IT service management and IT ops. And and one of the things that's that's really you know, I, I find to be very exciting and stimulating is, is the whole concept of XLAs. Um, unfortunately, I, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there about XLAs. I think people hear XLA and, and they immediately jump to SLA and, and XLAs must replace them. Um, so my topic is actually called what XLAs are not. And, and it focuses on the things that differentiate XLAs from SLAs and, and then focuses in on on how they actually should should interconnect or intermingle to deliver an experience that that the customer not just looks at as as the basic need and, and foundation for for service and support, but really um, how do we deliver the experience against what their expectation is? So it's so it's a, a little bit different flavor on on the way that we manage uh, a service and support team. Yeah, and you and I were chit chatting a little bit about it, and I kind of, you know, you shared a slide with me of, of, of what this kind of looks like. And the, the, immediately I'm like, oh, okay. I, I, the light bulb went on and I'm like, these are not replacing, but complementing um, and enhancing what the baseline yeah. of the things we're probably, or, or if we're not, we should be already doing um, to really ra raise that level of delivering to the customer, which you know, forever and ever, and a few years uh, in addition, we're supposed to have been doing right. Uh, it's always been about you know providing an exceptional customer experience. Um, you know that goes all the way back to you know I to you know the earliest days of ITIL and you know all the other best practice frameworks. It's always about how do we do a good job for the customers. Um, so I'm kind of excited to go. Okay, here's an opportunity to measure it. I'll give a little shout out on that. One of the, since I got to see it and Doug's told me a little bit about it, you're going to find out that these are not static anymore. Yeah. XLAs are not a static thing because you may achieve it or you may adjust it or you may back burner it and put something in front of it that's going to drive that. So come and find out more because I, I think it'll be a, really an eye opener. Um, you know, for me, just the, the, the little bit that, that Doug and I have had a chance to talk about it. Offline, you know, you don't get the, you know don't get recorded for free. You got to come to the conference. Um, but you know, come and join us. Uh, the topic I'm going to be covering, and there's actually a, a few different folks covering around the same topic, um, which is uh, <clears throat> really dealing with the organizational change that's required for things to be successful. We have a few folks talking about it from a few different angles. Um, I actually uh, did uh, did a did a similar presentation, or kind of a shortened version, um, for the HDI Leadership Summit last year here in Pittsburgh, um, and everybody was like, "Oh, you gotta have to bring this to one of the conferences um, and, and do kind of the more expanded version of this uh, because it's one of the things I think that gets overlooked so often in delivering, you know, services to customers is the things that you need to do. And what's what's interesting is, is I've talked to different folks about what they're presenting this year. One of the common threads, and this has probably been a common thread forever, um, is communication becomes a key element in almost everything that we do. Um, and that's one of the things that I always see uh, in, in organizational and OCM, um, people fall down on is that communication. Um, and you know, we as humans naturally resist change. 
XLA, so it's a new thing. Um, no, let's, let's, let's have a little bit of an open mind here and let's look at what this can do for our organizations and to drive stuff forward um, and you know make things better for the customer because, of course, that's kind of a, a common goal that we all have. How do we provide an exceptional experience to the customer, exceptional service, and how do we measure what we're doing and figure out where our pain points are and how we do it better? Um, and so it'll be exciting. I, 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 um, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, take a look at the agenda for the conference, uh, folks. Um, you know, below this video, you'll see Doug and I's happy, smiling faces. And there's also a discount code. Um, if you haven't bought tickets yet, um, come on down and join us. Um, but check the schedule because in the latest note that I got, they've been doing some adjustments um, to things in the schedule. We got a, a, a few different sessions just moved around to accommodate um, how the schedule is going to flow. What day are you speaking? So you, I will be speaking least, on, as far as you know. <laughs> yeah, on Wednesday, right before lunch. And, okay. and you know, Mike, Michael, one thing I would add, you, you touched on OCM. And OCM is a is a huge element to implementation, successful implementation of XLAs. And and the reason being is, unlike the way SLAs have traditionally been managed, they've usually been managed within one one area of IT. True. Um, XLAs, because they're focusing on the end user experience, span across those different silos and and across those different SLAs. So SLAs can be an input to them but they're, they're not the end all be all like they have been. And so a big part of successful implementation is, is that organizational change management element that allows you to, to get various silos working in conjunction as opposed to potentially in opposition to one another. Interesting. Interesting. That's well, going to be an exciting time in a couple of weeks uh, down in, in, in Orlando. Uh, hopefully sunny. Could be rainy. You, know, you never know. Uh, but it'll be warm, uh, warmer than where I am right now. Um, woke up to good temperatures in the in the 20s Fahrenheit, so um, it's generally warmer in, in in Southern Florida. So looking forward to a repeat from the cold and um, to get together with everybody and 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 learn some very very cool stuff. So Doug, thank you for joining me today and sharing what you're going to be talking about here in a couple of weeks. Yep. Thanks for the opportunity, right. Michael. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And we look forward to seeing all of you there. Um, if you haven't bought your tickets yet, see below for, for the discount code. Come down and join us. Lots of good stuff to learn. Um, take care, everyone, and we'll see you on a future episode.